Oh my goodness me! Oh. <laughs> Fellas, welcome back. Right, I'm gonna chuck this video up. Uh, not much editing because it's um, well, it's dark outside, it's the night time, and it's Friday night, and I want to crack on and finish the uh, painting or at least the whitewash. Um, tomorrow we'll put in the decorations up, the kids are really excited, so Saturday and Sunday we'll be doing that. So I'm picking tonight to sort of crack on a little bit. But we have been busy. Um, the plastering is finished. I finished that, uh, that back wall off at the weekend and um, then I made a start on the painting. So the ceiling is painted a brilliant bright white and then I've done this wall here which uh, which is the same just a, a white and I was going to keep it all white because uh, I just thought for ease I've got to go out and buy some paint somewhere um, I can get uh, trade tubs from Screwfix and have it all white but the missus has pulled through she nicked out and uh, bought me a tin of polished pebble which is the same colour that we've got in the kitchen and it's the tough paint, the paint you can scrub so that's going to be pretty good actually because it's been a godsend in the kitchen with the kids mucky, mucky handprints everywhere food that they spill uh, it just cleans right up without touching the paint so I think that's going to be a good idea in here but we need to complete the emulsioning of the white emulsion uh, on this wall and now we can do that wall now it's it's dried um, so we had the electrician in and as you can see on the, oh, on the floor here this is the remnants of the Temel Armoured uh, so it's in the house way up it's in the house uh, it's all the way up the wall on the outside of the house it comes across on a, on a wire um, and it comes in it's dark but it comes in here and the fuse box is in there boop, boop, boop. and all my cabling is now in the fuse box so that's good because when the painting's done I might have a crack myself at uh, wiring up the plugs and the sockets and uh, putting the, the lights up uh, saving my job when he comes back he's coming back for Christmas to uh, actually get it connected up to the main fuse board in the house uh, but I might save him a bit of a job and uh, do some myself, I might have a crack at it if I've got time if not, no worries because he'll, he'll do it but uh, yeah, I need to get some stuff shifted tonight to start the, the painting but, but, let me just show you something that arrived today oh bloody hell I brought the thing for the tripod, never mind. Okay, no guessing as where this has come from. Hey. Eh? So, I received a message today, um, a text from Herms, uh, to say that. Uh, oh, hold on. Oh, you put me on something, make you a bit higher. That's better. Right. I received a package. No, I received a, a message today from Herms saying your package will be delivered between 12 and 2. I was thinking I haven't ordered anything. Strange. Uh, and then, because we've just fitted cameras up in the house, on the outside and the uh, front and back of the house, security cameras, uh, I got a notification. I checked it and a young lady dropped off a package and I zoomed in and I could see the tape. Harrison's, I thought, you son of a gun. He sent me some beer mail. Um, it turns out that he sent me, I think, what people were getting in the Christmas uh, Christmas hamper, the Christmas calendar. So we've got the Knock Ein beer. Uh, we've got the Born Again, or Bjorn Again. Uh, we've got the 2020 Vision West Coast IPA. We have the Pale Ale. 
we have the Lockdown at Bernie's. What's that? Vermont IPA. Yeah. We have the Harrison's Porter. We have the Coconut Shy IPA. It's made it into can. I'm very excited to try that. The Vacant Gesture. The Stout. The Plum Porter. Proof of Concept. Yeah. So 24 cans. Uh, that's hopefully going to be my Christmas beer pretty much sorted out um, but I'm very excited to crack into at least one of them tonight and it's got to be the Coconut Shy PA. The labels are fantastic man, you've made a real good job of these, they are professionally done. It looks amazing, it's got everything on it you need. If you wanted to look it, look up what was in it, uh, IBUs and, and whatnot. So anyway, let's get the coconut Chapier poured out. First can from Harrison Brewery. <sighs> so I'd just like to say. Um, through some some stuff uh, especially with the, the lockdown with the brewery etc and um, he still managed to think about me and send me out these even though he's going through it uh, it's been tough really because the lockdown and this virus and whatnot um, we really well I've missed him <laughs> we normally uh, go on a bit of a mini break in October. Uh, last year we went to Edinburgh, uh, me, Abby, Gemma and, and Harry. And the year before that we went to York and I think the year before that we went to York. And we were planning this year to go a little bit further afield, probably Belgium or somewhere like that. Well, of course, it all went to shit. Uh, so I've missed that. And I know that we, we talk pretty much every day and um, since this virus has hit and the lockdown and that, he's been that busy that we've not really had the chance to do that and uh, I have been missing him quite a bit. Uh, I love him to bits. He's like a brother, like a brother. Um, so it's been very strange but this made me smile today when I saw this. Um, of course we've moved. So I didn't know what, who the parcel was from because I was, thinking, I was thinking, well, no one knows the address. But Gemma had messaged Abby asking for the address because uh, Harry wanted to send me something. Uh, she'd never told me it was a secret. Ah, <sighs> yeah. I'm uh, proud to have you as a friend. Cheers, Harry. Anyway, this is murky as hell because uh, the couriers brought it about four or five hours ago. But I cannot wait. Open a chapier. Eh? Oh my god! It's uh, just how I remember it. I need to brew it again. The I, I actually think because we had it on. Uh, well, I brewed it and had it on tap, and I've had it on draft at uh, the brew shed, and I seem to remember that the draft version sent to bring the creamy coconut flavours and aromas forward a little bit more than the uh, than the tapped version. But uh, having it out of the can, it's not overly carbonated, uh, like probably like what I would serve it. So it's not, it doesn't seem to have stripped any coconut away. It's, it's coconutty, creamy tastes absolutely fantastic. It's a cracker. Anyway, uh, I just thought I'd throw a little update. Oh yeah, the table, my god. I forgot about to talk about the table. So I put a picture up on uh, Instagram 
of the table that I've built. Uh, let me just move the cans and I can show you this properly. A bit properly, Aaron. Right? There. Uh, right, so what I managed to do is I managed to find the stud work in the in the wall and then I fastened it with some big hefty old screws through into the stud work which is holding it back against the wall. I've done the same with the uh, with the piece on the bottom there that runs along the, the back. I did the exact same thing. And then for the uh, struts the support, uh, the support part of the table is uh, somewhat of a hangman's, uh, hangman's, uh, what do they call it, hangman joint or something like that. So um, it's attached underneath the table at the top and then notched in uh, onto the bottom rail. So it's not fastened. Uh, like it is at the top on the bottom, relying on just the screws to, to hold it against the uh, the brace of the, the sorry the, uh, the, the, the the bit on the wall. It's notched in, so that weight is being pushed like a bird's mouth onto there. And I have to tell you, fellas, it's solid. People were saying I was brave, uh, but it is absolutely uh, solid as a rock. I can get on top of it. It doesn't move an inch. In fact, I'm going to stand on it now just to prove, uh, just to prove to yours, prove to yours all. Ah, I've just banged my head, but uh, it's solid. It no movie, it no movie. So uh, that's going to be, that's going to be perfect. Once I get it worked up on there, it's going to easily easily hold the weight of the brewing equipment and of course then I have no legs on the floor underneath so I can I can mop underneath and that's exactly what I wanted I will probably do the same in the sink so the sinks gonna be there I'll do the same so I can mop under it and uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this this here probably will just have like a an end, end panel worktop end panel because I want to get stuff underneath it and I don't know what I wanted to put under it at the minute. So that may have legs down to it but the main brewing wet area will be legless. Um, hopefully the same as us when we start brewing and drinking this damn stuff again. Well that's it fellas, we're coming on. Main power's pretty much in running, uh, painting is underway. Um, sockets are going to be going on and chuffing out. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. Anyway, that's it fellas. So, until next time, I'm out of here.